Hello everyone. In this video, we are discussing about the ICMP protocol, which is the Internet Control Messaging Protocol. So, this Internet Control Messaging Protocol, what exactly is this? I mean, what are the different kinds of protocol we all should know? That in internet, at every layer, there are various kinds of protocol that are working. For example, in data link layer, we have ARP, that is Address Resolution Protocol, we have MAC, we have, I mean, different kinds of protocols are there. Now, in internet layer, that is, this is the network layer, internet layer is also called as the network layer. So in this network layer, we have IP protocol, uh, which, which we can have IPv4 or IPv6. And we have another protocol, which is ICMP protocol. And there are two versions of this protocol. One is just an ICMP protocol, which works with IPv4 protocol. And second one is the ICMP6 protocol, which is working with IPv6. And apart of this, we can have IGMP, we have IPsec, we can have ECN and so many more protocols. In transport layer, we have TCP, UDP, DCCP, SCTP, RSVP and so on. In application layer, again, there are many more protocols. So there are more protocols and um, I'll give you the list of the protocols whenever it is required. But right now, we know that uh, in internet, internet layer, right now we are discussing about the ICMP protocol, that is Internet Control Messaging Protocol. It is one of the most important protocols in IP layer. Now this ICMP protocol is just like a supportive protocol that means it helps users uh, to identify the various kinds of problems in the network and it is basically uh, trying to, uh, this protocol basically used to try to find uh, to do error handling as well as request and reply. So the protocol that we are discussing is ICMP okay. So this protocol is used in two different ways number one is your request and reply. And second one, it is also used for error handling in the network, error handling as well as feedback messaging, feedback messaging. Okay. So in case of request and reply, we use it for eco request and reply. Secondly, we use it for network mask request and reply request and reply thirdly we use this protocol for timestamp and the fourth is we use this protocol for router solicitation router solicitation and advertisement a part of this for error handling purposes so uh, there are five ways here in error handling that we are using it number one is your ttl exceed that is a time to leave exceed second one is your source redirection the third one is your parameter problem and the fourth one here is source quench and the fifth one here is for destination host unreachable for all these purposes we use icmp protocol so we'll discuss about all of them one by one. I mean, how do we use ICMP protocol and what exactly is ICMP protocol? We'll take each and everything in greater detail. So right now, just need to know that why we use ICMP protocol. So ICMP protocol is used for uh, giving error handling in the network or for request and reply. So this internet control messaging protocol is a supporting protocol in the internet protocol suite. It is used by the network devices including the routers to send error messages and operational information indication. For example, that a requested service is not available or that a host or router cannot be reached. And last one is ICMP differs from transport control protocols such as TCP or UDP in that it is not typically used to exchange data between systems nor it is regularly employed by user and user network applications so in icmp we have a different header format so as you can see here in this case we have uh, an ipv4 header this is representing your ipv4 header now in this ipv4 header this icmp protocol uses this I basic ipv4 header and then uh, in different cases for example if the destination unreachable message is uh, if you have to send destination unreach unreachable message then with this ipv4 header we add unused as well as this internet header and this information now if you want to use uh, this 
uh, icmp for echo request and reply in that case in this ip4 header we add uh, this identifier as well as sequence number as well as data so this is just like an addition to this internet protocol that is ip protocol and then if we have source quench in that case we add two fields in this in case of redirect message we add again two field which is gateway internet address and and internet header plus 64 bit original data in case of time to leave exit that is ttl exit in that case we use unused as well as internet header now in case we use parameter problem in that case we use these two extra fields in case of timestamp request and reply we add three extra fields actually four extra fields here then we have information request and reply in that case we use we add two extra fields so this icmp protocol can be used to represent different kinds of control messages as you can see here in this presentation we have destination network unreachable destination host unreachable destination protocol unreachable and so on and uh, a part of this we have for source quench which is now depreciated a part of this we have redirection message so what kind of redirection it is it is a datagram from for the network for the host for tos and network and so on a part of this we use it for echo reply router advertisement router solicitation time exit and then we use this packet for time stamping time stamp reply information request and so on so as you can see there are various uh, different protocols different information that we can pass through the icmp protocol so the main purpose here is just to introduce you to the icmp protocol now we will discuss and take each of these one by one and we'll discuss about each of these uh, different kinds of errors one by one and how we will see how this icmp protocol is used so right now the, the first uh, video here i just wanted to tell you what is icmp protocol and now we will discuss about this icmp protocol in more details even if you understood this first ppt the only purpose here is uh, in this video is to just to make you understand these four points if you understood these four points that is more than enough for us because we are going to take all these points now one by one